Good? Okay. I can't hear myself. Did I plug it in the right? Oh, okay. My bad. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, they can't, they can't hear all, they can't hear all of this, can they? <laughs> Bruh. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I can hear myself now. Can I hear the, can I, I can't hear the audio though. Game. Oh, okay, whatever, no big deal. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I didn't even know if I was on here. Anyway, yeah, it's Charlie, uh, and we're getting into the match. Catcher versus Tomahawk. So, Tomahawk, of course, first seed of the tournament, obviously, because he's the best player in the room. And, uh, catch up, you know, this would be a big upset for him if he's able to take this over to Tomahawk. You know, the Tomahawk, everyone knows who he is, you know. That's a good punishment. Catch up recognizing the lag on that forward smash. You can just spit, using the spin out on clown part. Very strong move. It's like even stronger in this game than it was before, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, he has the lead right now on PS2. Hot is dashing with that grab. How's he gonna how's he gonna get off the ledge? Able to force his way off with forward air. Once again, Tomahawk in the corner rolls past. Ooh, you, I like the way he used that hydrant there. It pressure catch him not to like immediately take back uh, the stage. Using the Mega Koopa to ledge trap him, making sure he can't get back on the stage. Excellent. That was a good catch on the neutral get up. A very active hitbox on that up B. Tomahawk right now down. Three stocks to one. How's he gonna take this stock? He has to take it before it's too late. Ooh, that hydrant actually, the water from the hydrant, not letting him secure it there, but he's able to take it with that apple, catch up side being into it. All right, is he going to jump and throw it? Now, Tomahawk's being very careful. He doesn't want to take too much, like, he doesn't want to take too, too much percent. Uh, he has to be very safe, very calculated. With that grab, it's going to be a hefty punish. Catch up isn't able to keep him in the corner for long. Ooh. Excellent air out of shield there. Tomahawk's just been, he's stuck in the corner. But right now, he's fighting his way back. Every time he gains a little bit of space, Ketchup immediately brings it back and uh, corners him once again. Just, wow, caught the side beat in with the active grab. That grab has a lot of active frames at the cost of having a lot of lag. Kind of reminds me of Zuru Suit's grab in Smash 4, but a little bit worse. But still has a big hitbox. Lasts a very long time. Not a big hitbox, but it lasts a while. That's not going to kill, but that is going to put Tomahawk in a very tough position. At kill percent, at the ledge, versus Junior. All this pressure Ketchup's exerting right now with the Cannonball, with the Mecha Koopa. Wow. And that Cannonball's going to take game one for Ketchup here in this winner's quarter set. Tomahawk's going to go, I think, I don't know, do something. Wipe his hands off, maybe. Wash his hands. Yeah, he's, he's running to the bathroom real quick. No big deal, no big deal. So... It's been a pretty, pretty interesting day so far. Um, not as sacked of a hat as usual, It's, but it's, uh, you know, it's always fun to be here. A lot of, you know, familiar faces, friends to hang out with. I wish I could see the chat right now so I can talk to you guys. <laughs> my Oh, my phone. No, it's charging. I can't. <laughs> my phone is over there. But, yeah, this matchup's interesting because I've, I've literally never seen it played before. But I do know, like, a decent amount. I, do, I know a lot about Junior because I play him a lot. But I know a decent amount about Pac-Man. Um, and Tomahawk's a very uh, uh, aggressive, <coughs> excuse me, aggressive Pac-Man according to him. He doesn't really like to just sit back and throw stuff the entire time and then and then add it, use his out of shield. Like he does use his out of shield options, but he tends to approach more. He does like to box with Pac-Man a lot, which is why he likes him so much in this game because his hitboxes got huge buffs in this game. And so did his projectiles as well. He's able to reuse his fruit. He, did, he may have lost a few setups here and there, as I've heard from other Pac-Man players, such as BMC, who dropped him for Snake because he misses his old Smash 4 setups. But still a very solid character, Pac-Man. Uh, and Junior as well. Getting into this game two on PS2. Once again, going right, going right back to the stage. Tomahawk confident that he can take this. And here comes the 55 damage already racked up. Junior's combo game is incredible. Especially when he ends off with a back air after a bunch of up airs. But if, if you don't DI, I mean, if they DI up or Junior is in the right position, he can only get another up air, which is still a lot of damage and it puts him in a bad spot. 
Let's see how Tomahawk's gonna get this percent back. Pac-Man's no stranger to racking up damage. It's just it's just a lot more situational than Junior's uh, like universal combos. And once again, ca uh, catch up setting up pressure from afar using that cannonball. Tried to catch the neutral get up with the Mega Koopa in order to combo into either a forward air, maybe a spin out. Would have definitely done the stock in there. Nice tech tech chase from Tomahawk, reading it with the down smash. One of Pac-Man's weaker smashes. Pac-Man's forward smash and his up smash. Mainly his forward smash, extremely strong. Down smash, not so much. But Tomahawk's definitely even this up right now. A lot more even from the start looking compared to game one. Game one, the percents were even, first stock, and he did lose the stock to spin out, just like similar to that on his first stock, but it was more of a punish right there. It was a read in neutral instead of a punish. That downer is very hard to punish on shield, but uh, Pac-Man does have the out of shield like Nair and, and Fair to punish it. Even though it was a cross up there, I have no doubt in my mind that Nair drifted back would have punished that dare. It's just Tomahawk was either misinputted it or just wasn't uh, ready for it. Right now, Tomahawk does have the control, but he jumps away from the ledge, but he's still able to keep catch up off stage. Oof, got him with that F tilt to get to get him back off stage, but catch up running into that uh, side being into that apple. It's almost like a repeat of game one. Ooh, to, uh, caught him, caught the air dodge in with the F smash, but didn't die from it. But right now, Tomahawk is stuck at the ledge. I feel like if he threw that Galga a little bit earlier, it would have comboed and he would have got the percent he wanted. Alright, to miss the punish, that up tilt does not reach that. Either it doesn't reach on platforms, or it does, and Junior just hopped over it with that animation. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, it missed. And Tried to go for that combo a little bit early. It might have worked if he had Rage. Caught that. I love the way Ketchup, he's really good at catching jumps um, in neutral. Junior in general, because of his aerials. They stay out for a very long time, they auto-cancel. Big hitbox. Diff relatively difficult to punish, it depends. And right now, Ketchup is in control of this game. Tomahawk, how is he going to bring this back? All right, boxing him out with the F tilts, but he's not able to. It's almost like immediately after he gets like a, a soft hit, Ketchup's able to beat him in neutral once again. Jumps over the hydrant, tried to punish, but he's able to get that jab to get him off stage. Wow, the cannonball caught his, uh, his side B. Ooh, and he didn't opt to trampoline. He tried to go for side B again, but it didn't come out, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. It's probably because he got hit out of it once. Maybe he just maybe he didn't spawn in time. Maybe you can only do it once in the air. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, got him with that. Wow, and catch up right now commanding this la the this uh, game two of winners quarters. Oof. Not sure about that DI there, but he was able to to live. <clears throat> How's Tama gonna? Right now, catch up. Look at look at how patient he's playing. He knows he doesn't need to. Wow, what is he doing? Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm like confused. Catch right now knows he doesn't need to commit to much. Like he is very content with just sitting back and waiting for an opportunity to end the stock. He doesn't want to take like he's still he's playing cautious. It's respectable because, uh, like you're people might look at this lead and think that it's basically over, but you know. Never underestimate, never underestimate your opponent like that. And if you get too uh, anxious to end the match, it could swing not in your favor really quickly. Tried to snipe him with that key there, but wasn't able to get it. That would have been a nice reversal, and he would have been able to regain stage control much easier. Tomahawk playing the safe game. He's also content with just staying back. He doesn't want it, like, because he absolutely can't afford to take more damage. Like, he'll die to stray hits in 20-ish more percent. And if he gets hit in the wrong spot here, he'll straight up die. But he's just kind of allowing catch up. Ooh, okay, got him. Okay, nice punish on the full hops on the platform. He's not having any more of this. Caught that throw with the forward air. He tried to catch that rolling with the jab, but didn't dash far enough. And once again, catch up, going back to his old strat. He could have punished that with a forward air out of shield, but Tomahawk's playing a little bit scared right now. All right, caught the Mecha Koopa. How's he getting in? Okay, just threw it. Respect. Standing. Ooh, that's a free punish. But he's, he fell out of that dare. He has to be very careful. I feel like he can definitely, like, it's, it's a tough spot. When you're in a position like this, you make one, if you can't afford to make a mistake. And when your opponent is opting to not approach, and you try to call out how they're camping you, then you could die if you call out wrong. But you have to call them out. <laughs> and one minute and 30 seconds left on the clock.
Ketchup is looking for an intentional timeout, I think. And Tomahawk, let's see if he's able to bring this back. That'd be insane. Trying to chase him with that, I think that's a bell. The, stun, the one that stuns you. So we tried to catch his, uh, his either side B on the platform or jump with that bell, but he wasn't quite able to get it. Goes for a little bit of a risky side B, but Ketchup not opting to punish it. We're almost down to a minute left in this game, and no stocks have been taken for a while. 146 to 154, but it's a full stock deficit. Ketchup opting to play the long game. The Hydra definitely would have spelled death, but Ketchup easily avoids it. No problem. I feel like Tomahawk is letting him camp him out. Like, at this point, if you don't approach, you're going to get timed out at this point. Like, you have to take those risks. And Tomahawk chokes the sweet spot up here. He doesn't get the kill. 175 on Ketchup. 29, dude. If he brings this back, he's the man. But I, I don't know. How, how can you be the man in this situation? You're down a full stock. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. I don't know if you can notice the, how much time is left. I don't know. He's, he's not playing like there's 15 seconds left. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm cracking up. <laughs> I'm watching Pac-Man fling his legs around while he's getting timed out. It's really funny. I really hope Ketchup doesn't... Uh, doesn't um... <laughs> Tomahawk's smiling. I, don't, I think he may, he may have just noticed. I don't know. Wow, Ketchup just in intentionally went for the timeout. In a tournament where uh, Smash G is already slowing us down because it's lagging for some reason, Ketchup decides to opt for the timeout on stream when he's the one who said, was it him? I think it was Connie. Someone in our, someone in our carpool was like, hey, let's get tacos after this, so let's try, to, let's try to make this tournament run quick so we can go eat. But no, Ketchup decided to do this. Um, but hey, if that's the strat, that's the strat, even if he's up a full stock and the opponent is at 100. 70,000%. Doesn't matter to him. Opting to play the long game and clearly worked out in his favor. He did win the set. Did you know? Hey, Tomahawk, did you notice the timer? I did notice the timer. I was watching the whole time. You were watching? Why, why did you let him time you out? When there's a minute left and you're down a full stock, you have to take risks because if you don't, you're going to get timed out. You literally don't have options. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Tomahawk says he did notice the timer the whole time. Um, interesting, but... Anyway, that, now that that fiesta is over, let's get into Nito versus Kairos. Kairos repping World 8, I believe, in Nito. Uh, wearing that Street Fighter shirt <laughs> with Ken Masters on it. Ken Masters. <laughs> that character mashes. Anyway.